Hi everybody, it's Honest John, and uh, boy, been a tough day for the folks in Oklahoma City. Uh, see, sometimes a tornado touches down where very few people live. You might get a little bit of damage, a couple of injuries, maybe even a few people will die. But it, it's not that big an event, so it doesn't get much coverage. Yesterday, our tornado was headed straight into downtown Wichita. And just before it got there, it just stopped. It disappeared. This is something tornadoes do. They just stop. But today, that little miracle didn't happen. Tornado went right through a heavily populated area of Oklahoma City. And the death toll is in the 50s and rising. And there is a lot of damage. The tornado was at times reached two miles wide. And it just rolled through and wiped out entire neighborhoods. There wasn't any getting away from it. So can any connection be made between tornadoes and global warming? Well, uh, frankly, uh, it's impossible to take a single event and make a definite conclusion about it. And as far as uh, the strength of tornadoes, whether that is increasing, it's another thing that's impossible to say because in order to measure a tornado's winds, uh, to a climate scientist has to be on the right spot with the right equipment. So, so the, the strength of a tornado is rarely ever measured. Tornadoes are classified pretty much by the damage they do. So if a, ten if a tornado touches down an empty field, it's not going to receive any kind of classification no matter how strong the winds are. Also, as the population increases and communities grow, there are more people living in areas that tend to be hit by tornadoes. So we don't know if the number of tornadoes is increasing because it could just be that there are more people <laughs> to report them. But to say there is no connection between tornadoes and climate change would be stupid. Tornadoes and the thunderstorms that spawn them are fueled by warmth and moisture in the atmosphere. And there is 4% more moisture in the atmosphere than there was 30 years ago. And we've set a new record for temperatures every year for the past 27 years. So climatologists can be quite confident in predicting that the tornado season is going to start earlier and end later. And since climate change is increasingly creating conditions that favor tor tornadoes, denying any connection is like saying that there's no connection between a child's growth and how much you feed it. Thanks for listening.